So do any of you remember those Mickey Mouse cartoons in the 1930s? The ones that were just put out on DVD a few years ago? Well, I hear there's this one that was unreleased to even the most avid classic Disney fans. According to sources, it's something special. It's just a continuous loop, like Flintstones, of Mickey walking past six buildings that go on for two or three minutes before fading out. I like the cutesy tunes put in though, the song of this cartoon was not a song at all. Just a constant banging on a piano for a minute and a half before going to white noise for the remainder of the film. It wasn't that jolly old Mickey would come to love either. Mickey wasn't dancing, not even smiling. It was kind of walking as if you or I were walking, with a normal facial expression, but for some reason, his head held tilted to the side as he kept this dismal look. Up until a year ago, everyone believed that after it cut to black, that was it. When Leonard Maltet was removing the cartoon to be put in the d complete series, he decided it was too junk to be on the DVD, but wanted to have a digital copy due to the fact that it was a creation of Walt. When he had a digitized copy up on his computer to look at the file, he noticed something. The cartoon was actually 9 minutes and 4 seconds long. This is what my source emailed to me in full. He's a personal assistant of one of the higher executives at Disney, an acquaintance of Mr. Moulton himself. After it cut to black, it stayed like that until the sixth minute, before going back into Mickey walking. The sound was different this time. It was a murmur. It wasn't a language, but more like a gurgled cry. As the noise got more indistinguishable, loud over the next minute, the picture began to get weird. Sidewires started going into a direction that seemed impossible based on the physics of Mickey's walking, and the dismal face of the mouse was slowly curling into a smirk. On the seventh minute, the murmur turned to a blood curling scream. Kind of screamed pains with fear. The picture was getting more obscure. Clothes were happening that shouldn't have been possible at the time. Mickey's face began to fall apart. His eyes rolled over the bottom of his chin like two marbles in a fishbowl. And his curled smile was pointing upward on the left side of his face. The person became rubber, flowing in midair with the sidewalk was so impossible to navigate the world in directions. Cues seeming to see what we, assuming, know all about direction. Mr. Moulton got disturbed and left the room sending an employee to finish the video and take notes of everything happening until the last second, and afterward, immediately store the disc of the cartoon into the vault. This distorted screaming lasts until 8 minutes and a few seconds in, and abruptly cuts the Mickey Mouse face, the credits of the end of every video will let sound like a broken music box playing in the background. This happened for about 30 seconds, and whatever was in the remaining 30 seconds, I haven't been able to get a sliver of information about. From a security guard working under me, it was making the rounds outside of that room. Also, that after the last frame, the employees stumbled out of the room, pale skin saying, Real suffering is not no real suffering. Seven real times, this group of elite taking the guards and his pistol and offing himself no. on the spot. <laughs> the thing I could get out of Leonard Moulton was that the last frame was a piece of Russian text that roughly said, The sights of hell bring its viewers back in. As far as I know, no one else has seen it. But there have been dozens of attempts at getting the file in rapid share by employees inside the studios, all of whom have been promptly terminated of their jobs. Whether it got online or not is up for debate, but if rumors serve me right, that's online somewhere under suicidemouse.avi. If you ever find a copy of the film, I want you to never view it and to contact me by phone immediately, regardless of the time. When a Disney death is covered up as well as this, means this has to be something huge. Get back to me, TR. I've yet to find a copy of this, but it is out there. I know it.